welcome, welcome to episode 124 of um, Stock Radio's Retro Lounge. And this week, we're going bananas. Yes, it's um, it's finally the week we're playing monkeys. So I've looked through and I've picked the games that have got either the word monkey in the title, which 90% of them have got monkey in the title. And there's just one game that's got chimp. In the title, and believe it or not, I only have. I had a look early just before we started. Actually, I've only got one game that's got chimp in the title. It feels like that's something that there should be more than one game. Why well, no? Weird. Um. Anyway, so we've got the audio off to one side again. Why well, aren't we doing this? Oh, just to check. Um. But I think that's everything. We're back on the. Uh, a trusty old um, 8-bit do pad this week and um, the thing I should say is uh, if I suggest doing N64 again please remind me that we get into the era where they started using copyrighted music so if you watched last week's show on YouTube I had a bit of, bit of snippy snippy to it specifically Book Bumble which I wasn't right happy with anyway I had to cut, cut bits out because of the bloody background music. That's what I take to YouTube. Um, anyway. Let's get over to the little screen, shall we? And crack on. And let's see um, what sort of quality we've got with uh, games that are called... that have got monkey in the title. Mm. Yes. Um, so, we need to do that. Ooh, there we go. So, <sighs> top side, there we go. Um, as you can see on screen, uh, that, that side, that side, yes, that side. There we go. Uh, Goldo 106, um, the mutated lab monkey, to give it its full title, is, uh, is our first game. It's on the Atari Lynx. Oh, I'm sorry, I've got a rogue eyelash. Might not go away that. Um, so, we're starting with the Atari Lynx. Um, I, I don't know what the quality of any of these games are, because as, as tradition dictates, I haven't started any of them. Well, except this one to get a title screen. So, let's um, see, shall we? Experimental nuclear potion. Wow. How is the game audio compared to my voice? No, you cluster. When you get a second. Okay, so. The Atari Lynx. It's the Atari handheld console. Okay, so we've got a jump and a throw. Nice. Can I jump and throw? No, it does not like it, so I have to jump up and throw. Oh, no. Need to get the banana, surely. Yes. Right, what do we do here? Oh. Can we go higher? Oh, maybe we can. But then we wouldn't be able to free the animals, would we? Looks like he's doing the funky gibbon when he's um, doing a fast walk. Ooh, now where do we go? There is no higher than that, so... Oh! You see that there's a, there's a yellow cable under there that makes me go. Do we need to do something with that? But it also looks like we've got some sort of. Let's check out 
check if that rabbit foot is that rabbit is it a hole yeah it's a hole we don't want it oh i couldn't have escaped from that could i So we're avoiding holes where we can. Oh, you see? See, look, there's a hole there. Toasty monkey indeed. Ooh. Oh, what was that? Got flying bricks. I don't know how I'm supposed to get out of that. <laughs> Do we go that way or do we go the other way? Right, I can't get up that. <sighs> it's not going to end well, is it? It's different. Oh, so I don't think I can get over them, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. No, 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 no. Hey, we got further than last time. Curious of why we've got flying bricks. I'm sure I landed on that platform. full of lava got how many lives do you get okay no fuck off Oh. 
Do we jump over that or do we go under it? Let's go under it. Ooh, now what? Oh, facing the lava again. Balls. Balls. Um, okay, well, look, that was Gordo 106, the mutated lab monkey. On the Atari Lynx. Now, I cut my fingers crossed with this next one. Um, not worried at all about what it might be. For sure. So, let's... Uh, uh, Get you a screen. This is on the Collector Vision, um, which, as we all know, was one of my consoles as a child. Uh, but I never had this game, and I have a horrible feeling it might be, just might be a preschool teaching game. In which case, we won't be with it very long. But let's have a look. It's called Monkey Academy. Oh, here we go. We've done this before, haven't we? I think I've remapped all the keys. Yeah, look, look. Oh no, we might. In fact, we might even need. Um, we might even need number pads to put in numbers. At this rate. Uh, let me just have a quick look at the controls. So, uh, that'll be that one. Yeah, look, we're using numbers again. Let's do some addition. Oh, we'll do it at level one. Shall we pick it? Oh, it's too late now. So what do we need to do? Do we need to... Do we find a five? And does it keep going until it finds a five? Why can't I get that? There we go. Now what? Well, I, I got five. Is it in the same place? It is. Oh. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, you can only clear it if you're running. So. Oh, so you take your answer to the teacher, the monkey teacher. Gotcha. <sighs> this would explain why I didn't have this as a as a teenager. Oh, I can't. Come on, you little. No, nope, not that one. Nope, not that one. Oh. 
Those little crabs. My monkey's got crabs. None of them. Oh, can't do a big jump unless you're running. Don't know what number I press then. Might be playing a two two player game. Skill level two. Yeah, look, we're playing a two player game. Try again. Poor shit, level three. Right, here we go. We're not going to get crabs this time. Of course we are. Oh, 77 plus 11. None of them. That's the one. Now what do we do? I forget. Do we go up here? So teach, we know what it is. Oh. Yay, I got one right. A level three one right, I mean. Do you know what? I'm giving this far longer than I anticipated. <laughs> Whoa! Some big numbers now.
Bet you didn't thought you were going to get to see this when you were watching a monkey video. Oh, I forgot what I was looking for then for a minute. Oh, I need the number four, right. Really, the right answer was right by teacher. Well, do you know what? <laughs> Does feel a little embarrassing playing this for uh, as long as we have done. So, um, let's just do this round and then we'll do one. We're looking for a zero, aren't we? Yes. I wonder what if, if you if you can take the wrong number and have the teacher be cross with you. Let's try that. Let's let's take the wrong number to teacher. Oh. <laughs> let's take that one. Make sure we can take that. Oh no. You can't take it to teacher, but it tells you it's wrong. Okay. No more monkey maths. Um, monkey Academy from 1984. For the Clecker Vision. Well, 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 well. Didn't think I'd be revisiting my my infant school maths um, tonight. Um, <laughs> okay, let's ooh, let's move to this screen, shall we? Because we're going to play a Game Boy game now. Yes, we are, and it's um, is it oh is it color Game Boy? Let's find out. Oh, it looks like it. Let's get your window. We're going to play um, a Game Boy game now called Monkey Puncher. Yep, Monkey Puncher. Let's see if we can make that any bigger for you. Oh, tiny bit, tiny bit. That'll do, pig. Oh, do we feel a bit Pokemon y? Do we? Maybe? Let's find out. Initiate. Sounds a bit loud to me, that. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Why not? Oh. If you took the word monkey out and put the word... Although, there isn't a game called Pokemon Puncher, is there? I am Fred. This person is Fred. It's probably his service desk name. More than a friend. Monkey Puncher Trainer. This is to keep adding an extra word on the end. Now, now he wants to be a monkey trainer. Let's find a monkey. Oh, Freddy the monkey. Oh, see you, Fred. F Freddy is not intimately friendly. Which I can only assume is a good thing at this point. Let's give him a banana. Okay. Not sure I see how you eat a banana, personally. But... Strength is at maximum. Stamina is at maximum. It's eating it enjoyably. Freddy is standing only. Okay. I, I might need to turn that music down a bit more. I don't know if I've got anywhere to go with it. It's either that or silent. Oh, oh. There we go. Freddy is walking around. Well, that's good. So, what do we do now? Hey, motherfucker! Does it need m more food? Hey there, Freddy. We've just got to give it something else, haven't we? What about some... Oh, what about some curry? Enjoyed by children. What? Oh well, it's eating it enjoyably. That's good. I don't, I don't understand now. It keeps biting me. If you bite me again, I have to put you down. Is 
So I can't <laughs> don't have anything else to try other than keep feeding it till it's friendly. It's not having a biscuit. Is that because it's full? Oh. Is it eating it enjoyably? I mean, my instinct is to go for free. What does that mean? Let go. face I don't see what it did let's give it praise though rather than smacking it around its face Freddy is thinking, really. Okay, now it's your turn, you little. I mean, do, do we keep doing it till it does it, or, or what? Okay. Honestly, thought that Monkey Puncher, just as a title, might have more punching of monkeys. I know it's foolish of me to think that, um, but this feels less fun than a game called Monkey Puncher should. You know what I mean? Let's do some punch bag then, shall we? It's punching after all. We're doing monkey puncher. At least you should say a monkey punching. Freddy likes punching. Is it going to do it? Come on. Do better next time. Give it a banana. <laughs> okay, let's let's punch things then, shall we? Come on. Can't punch the quick, you have to punch in order.
Come on. Punch it, you little shit. Oh, 34 seconds. finished with monkey puncher yes yes I know I know let's move on to um, our Game Boy Advance game now the first Game Boy Advance game we're going to play we have ha actually played before we break in some rules but I needed another monkey game to make it up to nine when I saw we'd already played it, I was like, oh, no. Or something like that, anyway. Um, so, we're going um, we're gonna to continue, I think, from where we left off. And, like I say, we're moving to the, uh, the GBA. And we're going to play Kim Possible. Revenge of Monkey Fist. That's what we're playing. Um, let me get you a reasonable screen. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, we're part way through, we've got a safe state going on. Let's Monkey Temple Madness. Perhaps we could turn this up a little bit. See, this is what I think of when you say monkey punching. Oh, now do I get that lipstick? Oh, there's loads of stuff up there. How do I get to that? I forgot what my keys are. I've only got one jump though, so it's not. That. See, I feel we should be able to get them. Text one punch them. Oh, okay. Now what? I must have some sort of skill where I can. shoulder left shoulder doesn't do anything <sighs> uh. 
and those two don't do anything. So how, how do I get out of this? It's maybe why we stopped playing in the first place. Do we do a try a run? Can't even seem to do a double jump either. Nope. Oh, um, what other options do we have? We don't have a double press for run. Hmm. What other buttons do I have? Can I change character? Nope, does not like it. Hmm, okay. I don't have any more buttons to press. And this is why we don't reset it. Because we have to wade through all this. Uh, so, she probably gathered. I've reset it. Which means I've lost. Don't even have a proper save for it either. At least you've seen some monkey punching now. So that's good. Uh, now, we have done this before, so I'm not going to do an awful lot of it. I just want to give um, Kim the benefit of the doubt. See, I'm sure there is summer because we should be able to get these things, shouldn't we? How do we how do we answer that? How do we even answer that? Does it come back if we move back? No. Is there a way of going over the roof that I missed? There is. There is somewhat there, isn't there? There must be another way of getting to it though. We think as you can stand on there. Oh, I wonder. Okay. So we need to time a jump. So that last time I shouldn't have um, shouldn't have killed that monkey. Can we lead him back outside? I think he's trapped there for eternity. Bugger. Oh, 
catch that he's too tall to get on top of. I should have. Oh no, I can't jump up there anyway. Let's wait for it to start and then we can pause it. There we go. There, yeah, a bit of Kim Possible. Um, Revenge of Monkey Fist. Okay, we're going to stay with the game by advance for our next couple of games, actually. Um, so, as soon as... Soon as I said I was doing um, a monkey episode, your moderator extraordinaire, Nutty Cluster, her of the shit internet, um, said, Oh, hope you're doing monkey ball. And I said to that, Actually, there is a game with Super Ball, Super Monkey Ball in the title, but this is Super Monkey Ball Junior on the Game by Advance. So, um, let's see what we've got. I used to play the Game Boy one quite a lot. We might look at some mini games if I remember. Again. Might as well just play with the main one. So I'm guessing it's monkey ball but smaller. Oh, hello. That's quite crisp. No, this oh, how do I get around now? Oh, yeah, little shit. Oh, no. Oh, I can't. Right. <laughs> can't just make him go straight. Shouldn't have messed around getting bananas, really, should I? I should have just put my foot down. Gone for it. Well, it's... Oi, come on! Stop it! So why was one underneath? What was that for? Could have gone off backwards and got a better score. Ah, uh, could take me all night to do this one. Oh, you can't get going too fast with these Game Boy controls. Jesus. See? See? So uh, we're on... Obviously, we're on analog... No, we're not. We're on um, digital pad. 
So. I don't know. I wonder if it would be any. Yeah, yeah, shut up. I wonder if it would be any easier just to on the game by advance. Oh no. Oh. Ah. See, I think I remembered that um that stage on Monkey Ball. Do I get tempted by the bananas or just go straight across? I thought it would end. Didn't know it was going to drop off the edge. Oh! Holy f shit. No. No, I'm not. Where's the brakes? Is there a... Is there a brakes? No, the brake is hold back until you fall off the edge. God Oh, there we go. See, Nutty Cluster's just got back in with a shit internet to see some Super Monkey Ball. So we kind of, we have to play a little bit more, don't we? So, But we're not going to continue that. Okay. So I got the first, I got the highest score. Doesn't say an awful lot, does it? Right, so, let's have a look at some mini games, shall we? Oh. No, we can't. We can't look at them then. Because there's only one of me. There's only one of me. Oh, that's disappointing. All right, let's play again, but with a different monkey. Oh. Oh. We do have to play it this then shit um i forget now gong gong's really fast oh he's slow to start up but it's difficult to control because he's heavy oh let's go with mimi Learned my lesson. So I'm going to drop off backwards and see what happens. Ready? Go. Oh, I die horribly. Okay. So they need to come off this side. Nope. Ready? So. Go. What if we go right off the peak? Oh, we can. Don't like that. Nope. 
shit. Keep forgetting to press the button. Ready? Go. I think I've probably beaten my high score. Shit. Do I need to run up for these green? Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, whoa, stop, stop. Oh, stop running, you little turd. Why can't I turn it round? Come out this way. Come out. Well, the little shite hawk. Okay, there you go. Super Monkey Ball Junior. Um, well, it's Super Monkey Ball, but tiny. On the Game Boy Advance. Uh, now, another wild card that we're going to be looking at now. This is uh, also on the Game Boy. Game Boy Advance, sorry. And this is called The Amazing Virtual Sea Monkeys. Look, we've already done addition and math skills. I don't know what we're going to get. Uh, 
You see, that seems quiet now. Monkey ball sounded quite loud. Well, we might wish we'd left it quiet. Oh, it's an 80s summer holiday song. Oh, now. Got to, we've got to save. You must pick all the goldfish before the sea monkey reaches the first shell. So am I stopping? Am I stopping the... I don't know. Am I stopping the fish from eating the... Oh! Okay, so we can't eat the green ones. Where am I? Right, so we have to eat the orange ones. But not the green ones. How many do I have left? Surely that's it. So I'm protecting the sea monkeys while they get to their little homes. So it's a little bit like opposite lemmings. Wow. Ah. Well, how do I get out? I don't know how I'm supposed to get them before they all get to the bloody... Oh no. Where did, where's, I'm. I, uh. <sighs> Not doing it this time, am I? Now, do you think they're going to swim through anyway? Right, I see. See, because I was letting them through, wasn't I? Foolish. There they are. Coast is clear, guys. Come on. Oh, where are you going? Don't go that way. Come this way. Where are they going? Oh, you knobheads. Where are you going? Oh. Oh. 
I mean, you know there's no goldfish left. You should just be like, yay, you've done it, mate. You've done it. It's fine. Can I build a wall to stop them from coming back round? Why am I... Um, no, I shouldn't be running out of time. It's not my fault that they're arseholes. What am I looking for? So I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with these. Okay, so they'll get it if um, if they go through these plants are bad. Okay, we've seen it. We've saved some sea monkeys. I think we're done. Let's do our last Game Boy Advance game. Oh, some chops clicked the wrong button. Uh, right, this is the only game with Chimp in the title. This is the Wild Thornberry's Chimp Chase. Okay, Ooh, it sounds like the wind's picked up outside. Okay. Never watched any of this, so I don't know. Right, I've only got jump at the moment. Can I eat that? Yeah. Oh. Oh, we can climb the tree, can we? Yeah. Can we climb higher? I mean, it's the point of the game, isn't it? I'm not just going on a wild, cheesy puff. Is there any more over that way? Nope. Oh. <sighs> it's one of these evil ones that drops you right back at the start as well. Right, we have to go up the tree anyway.
Oh, I don't like that. Why does it jump off so early? <sighs> Not a massive fan of these games that are just so unforgiving. It, I jumped off and it kept hold of the rope and made me fall. bottom what's going on stupid game i'm not playing you anymore yes chimp chase my ass right let's move on to uh oh why was my microphone muted um we're just gonna restart open mu because it looks like it's messing around with its sound Oh, okay. Be like that then. Uh, okay. Let's go. Okay, so, do we want to, um, not bother with training? Oh, do we have to do the training before we can get to a campaign? Oh, monkey funker. Oh, we've done this. Or is he further away? Stop showing off.
too much going on having to turn to look at them to dodge them. We have to pass it, don't Oh, tits. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. We might not get past this then. Using the wrong joystick, mother frogger. See, when you're using the pad for most of it, and then you have to use the analog joystick to move around. Oh. I wonder if the other. I wonder if I should just use. Don't know. I can. No, that was a bad, bad choice. That. I think the idea is right, but I'm not sure. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. This, this on this, and this on this. worked out my going from side to side. One more attempt. Then we give it up and we're going to put it on the revisit. Alright, oh, that's not good. Oh, didn't stay balanced out long enough. Oh, I got out of its way, you little bastard. Uh, 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 let me open the revisits tab and just put on there. Manic Monkey and Mayhem. Because we're going to move on to our last game of the evening now. There you go. And we're going to get to a screen. Okay, now it is possible. Why has it changed? It is possible we've played this, but it's just called a different thing. In fact, not only have we played it, I think, I think we've played it and revisited it as well. Um, I can't get it to fit in the corn into the square, right? Because when I do that, when I move, it moves down a little bit. Right, let's live with that. So I think it's called, it might be just called just monkey, perhaps. So 
yeah, in this case, we won't be playing it very long because we have played a, a lot of this. I am pressing start. Oh, maybe we haven't. Is it picking up the right controller? So my, my start seemed to do something then. I'm pressing start now though, but it's not doing anything at all. Ah, there we go. Or not. Did I pause it? Oh, if I'm having technical issues, I should be later on. It shouldn't be at the last game of the evening, should it? Well, he says, putting down the pad. That sorts that out, doesn't it? Yes, yes, it damn well does. Um, so, just checking, just checking the next step because it's uh, it's that time, isn't it? It's that time. Yes, it's time for the woo wheel. Um, so, here we are. You know what it means. We're going to see what we're playing next week. And uh, we're going to give it a spin. I've taken, I have taken monkeys off, I'm sure I have. <coughs> Marvel. Now, it could be executive decision time again um, because I feel that we did Marvel very recently. Okay, we're not checking. We're just going to do it. We're going to go for it. Uh, so, Marvel. Well, well, well. Well, I never. Okay, so let's go back to... The goodbye screen, as we call it. Um, that's it for this week. I did wonder how it was going to go. A bit of hit and miss. Uh, mostly all right games. All things considered. Um, so, that was Monkeys. Next week we're doing Marvel. Um, so, you can email us if you want. That's retro at stuckradio.co.uk. Retro at stuckradio.co.uk. That's also the website, snugradio.co.uk. If you're watching us live on Twitch on a Monday night from 7 o'clock, you know that we're on Twitch as Snug Radio. But if you're watching this on YouTube and you didn't know about Twitch, join us on Twitch from 7 o'clock. Uh, but we're also on YouTube as Snug Radio. Um, but you can find us everywhere else. I say everywhere else. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter and TikTok as Snug Radio. Um, follow us, like us, subscribe, share with a friend, all that sort of stuff. You, you know, you know what to do. You've been doing it for years. Come on. Um, see, see, sub, sub and bells, sub and bells. Um, we also have a discord. There is the snug radio discord, which does have a retro lounge section. If you wanted to join and reminisce about old games. Um, it's always worth a look. Um, so, also, n Nutty Cluster, moderator extraordinaire, who's been down in 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 the chat just there. There she is. Um, she has a design shop, and it's a design shop called Inkyspiration, and it's worth a look. It's worth a look. I know I say if you're an eccentric billionaire, go there and spend thousands and thousands of pounds. But if you're not, if you're just a normal person, it's still cool because it's reasonably priced and she's got some fantastic designs that look good on the products that she puts them on. It's great. It's great. Uh, Taskmaster quotes, pop art dogs and pop art peoples. Some famous peoples. Get them before they're removed. Um, so, Ink Inspiration is the place to go uh, if you're looking to buy some cool merch. 
And also, the other place to go is The Glorious Idiot. Yes, The Glorious Idiot. That's my shop. And it helps support the channel. Um, it would be nice for, you, for uh, billionaires, millionaires, uh, everybody. Everybody could go to the shop and grab some of my new designs. I've, I've been putting up, I've put eight designs up in the past two weeks. Uh, we've got some pop stars up there. We've got some um, some tile patterns that look uh, exceptional. I'm, in fact, I'm going to buy a bag myself because I like it so much. Um, so that's uh, The Glorious Idiot. So there you go. That would help us out. Um, and that is about it for the monkey episode. So um, I've been Math. This has been Snug Radio's of Retro Lounge. We'll be back at the same time, same place next week. Until then, play something retro. Bye.